Hello, I'm Dr. Mitchell Grayson, an associate professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin in the Department of Pediatrics, Section of Allergy Immunology, a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy and Immunology, and a board-certified allergist. So, you've been sneezing, your nose is running, and it feels like you're breathing through a straw. Could this be your allergies, or do you have a cold? Well, today, I'd like to speak to you about how to tell the difference between allergies and a cold. First of all, it is important to recognize that the difference in the cause of allergies and colds. Allergies are due to the body producing a protein, an antibody, against something to which you should not react. Think of ragweed pollen or cat dander. This means that whenever you encounter ragweed pollen or cat dander, you will likely have an allergic attack. Colds, on the other hand, are due to viruses that are spread from person to person, usually through airborne droplets or by physical contact, say shaking hands which, by the way, is why it's always a good idea to wash your hands. Both allergies and colds will cause sneezing and a runny and stuffy nose. However, with colds, you will often have a sore throat and cough, two things not usually seen with nasal allergies. However, if you do have asthma, an allergy attack can lead to a cough as well. You can have a fever and slight aches and pains with a cold. These are things not seen with allergies. Some symptoms associated with allergies but not colds, are itchy and watery eyes and symptoms that repeat every year at about the same time, which is probably due to the fact that that's when you're being exposed to the things to which you are allergic. One of the best ways to distinguish between colds and allergies is how long the symptoms last. Colds rarely last beyond 14 days, while allergies will often last for several weeks. Colds are also usually associated with contacts and family members having similar symptoms at the same time. Although it is possible that with allergies, your family members might have the same type of sensitivities and be allergic to the same things, so they might have symptoms at the same time as well. Why should you care? Well, the treatment for allergies is different from that for colds. In most cases, the treatment for colds is to treat the symptoms. However, for allergies, we have treatments that can help to turn off the allergic response. So, if you're having symptoms that you believe may be a result of allergies, see an allergist. Allergists have the tools to determine what it is to which you might be allergic and how best to provide the treatment that can stop your suffering. So check out the Academy website today.